Good evening or good afternoon, family, people of God. How are you? I hope it is an amazing day wherever you are located. It is 95 degrees where I am, but I'm okay with that right now. I'm loving it. I'm going to get in me an ice box so let the heat build up and the sweat build up because I'm going to go freeze. You know what I'm going to pop in and tell you, family? You are going to make it and you're already making it. Even with the long suffering, all of that, that is a reward. That long suffering is a reward. How that song say, trouble don't last away. We've been endure for night. What, what? Joy comes in the morning, baby. Trouble don't last always. Trouble don't last always. And you know what? You need to give yourself a pat on the back because many of us didn't have nobody to like hold our hand and explain many of these different levels and stages that we experienced and how we had to like how we had to adapt and what we were supposed to learn. We had to learn these things organically, you know? Like sometimes people look at the things you talk about and you know what you say and sometimes a gifting on your life but they don't know what you've been through. They don't know it was pain that birthed that knowledge, <laughs> you know? And I just want to encourage many of you because you still have a pure heart. You're still growing. You're still learning. You're still loving, you know? And there are things that sometimes that may come and tug at your spirit and wear you down. But for the most part, you get up and you keep on going. You keep on being an encourager. Many of you are encouragers to people that are around you. Some of you, even some people that didn't like you, even had to come back and apologize to you because you helped them in some type of way just by being yourself, just by staying in your pure loving nature, even though it was hard sometimes. And I want to tell you, you are winning. You are winning. And you're going to continue to win because you trust God, because you love God, because you put him first. Your latter days going to be better than your former days. And I don't care what it looked like in the earth. As long as we stay close to our father, it will get better for you. If it ain't already started getting better for you yet, it will get better for you. We still go through trials mm, and tribulations within the earth. That's just a part of this natural walk of walking and living for Christ, you know? Nobody knows at what point in time certain things will, uh, trials will come upon us, but we just have to always be ready in season and out of season. And as long as we keep renewing our mind with the word of God, we gonna be all right. We already all right. And I wanna encourage you, God is with you. Keep loving, keep trusting him. Keep that pure heart, that genuine and authentic nature about yourself. Let's keep on living this life and walking this life out together. It will get better. God is always going to be with his people. And remember what I said. Trouble don't last always. Trouble don't last always, baby. God is with his people. He'll never leave us nor forsake us. We just have to do our part and keep fighting that good fight of faith. Keep crucifying this old flesh right here keep staying it's a daily fight but if you're willing to fight it it's rewarding it's rewarding i don't want to be on no other team except for god's team yeah so anyway i just wanted to pop in and let you know you are winning you're on the right track you're on the right path all the things that you've been through it was all necessary all the things that we still learning is still we're still open to learning right so we're still growing in christ we're still studying. We're still getting to know our Father. Let's stay on that path. We on the winning path, baby. We on the winning team. Just had to learn how to keep your mouth quiet around them people. Them dream snatchers, them dream killers sometimes. The people they oppose us to the calling that was on your life. You ever open your mouth to somebody? You happy, they got to get sad. You talking about an idea, they fighting that idea. They ain't fighting with their words. They fighting with their thought because the minute you speak it, they might not say nothing, but you, you feel all of this. It make you start feeling bad for even having some of those desires and some of those dreams. And that's only because that's a spirit of opposition there. 
that's not in unison with you and your spirit is picking up on what you may not even have the words to um, verbalize you're picking up on that malice you know that envy that evil opposition that's fighting you with their thoughts because thoughts are things as well right and so we just had to learn how to hold this sometimes it was all a process sometimes the enemy can fight you he been fighting you through your sister he been fighting you through your brother he been fighting you through your mother he been fighting you through your father he been fighting you through your son he been fighting you through your daughter he been fighting you through you know whoever he was fighting you through and when you learn how powerful it is to hold on and keep certain things between you and God we keep certain things between us and God devil can't fight what he don't know about can't fight what he don't know about and then you see your progress start to enhance again and come back and you continue to grow and go forward it ain't meant for you to build with some spirit sometimes we want what we want ain't always what God wants when you are a loving giving kind hearted person you want to help everybody you want to bless everybody you want everybody to get together and be on one accord <laughs> Sometimes that'll take you down trying to get everybody else together, trying to get everybody together that don't even want to be together. Some people don't want to be on one accord. Some people don't want to love. Some people don't want to be, um, you know, um, work together. Some people thrive off of chaos and division. You know, some people's heart is just all about selfish ambition. So if somebody, your heart is at the unity and uniting and loving and somebody whose heart is after selfish ambition, they ain't never going to be on one accord with you. You be fighting your own self and wearing your own self down and wasting your own life and time in the earth trying to force somebody to get on one accord. It ain't even trying to get on one accord. It's not even designed for them to even be a part of your next, you know? So we got to understand these things. But you're on the right track, baby. Probably never had nobody to pour into you and tell you, you know, that you're doing good. It's not normal growing up in this world and not having a good backing and a good support, you know? So if you grew up abnormally where people felt like it was your job to take care of them or people, you know, you felt like sometimes people wanted you to need them. They would rather see you struggle sometimes just so you can have to depend on them and what you depended on them for is limited resources but the vision that you have to lead to unlimited resources, but they just don't see it like that. They just want you to be underneath them and have to need them. So essentially, they don't even see growth and elevation for themselves. So how could they see it for you? But you made it past that. You see what I'm saying? With the pure heart, with love, you learn how to come out from amongst them. You learn how to fight back and beat back them buzzers that was trying to keep you down and kill that life and joy on the inside of you. Break your spirit right? Some of you, it started as a young child, but that didn't stop you. You continue to go on. May have had some areas about your personality and character that were just needed to be polished up a little bit, made you a little rough around the edges, but you're still willing to learn. You're still walking this thing out called life with an open mind, studying the word of God, being submitted to his ways and his will. And so what he's doing, he'll polish you on up. He'll polish you on up, right? He used the foolish thing to confound the wise some of you you had to endure real hard pain where people laughed at you talked about you scandalized your name you know you know what folk were saying about you but you had to be strong and just keep on going because the average person probably couldn't take it some people commit suicide you know when your name is being rung out here people who don't even know you got a perception of you talking about you laughing at you putting you down and you got to keep on going trying to work towards that vision that thing that you see, you still just working. You got people throwing knives in your back and all of that, and you still kept on going. See, now God has healed a lot of the wounds. See what I'm saying? <laughs> you making it, baby. You winning. That's all I just want to tell you. You on the right track. Might be lonely sometimes, but guess what? Sometimes when you working towards something great, it ain't always come easy. You're going to be alone sometimes because everybody can't see that vision that you see. Everybody can't think outside the box, you know? But you on the right track. I'm just confirming it for you. You ain't losing. You winning. You're on the right track according to God's divine timing. And you got to keep your mind strong. 
And the best way, in my opinion, to do that is keep renewing your mind with the word of God, baby. You on the right track because God is with you. And when God be for you, ain't nothing no demon in hell could do to destroy you. See, you already done see that. It may have been uncomfortable walking through the valley of the shadow of some of those, you know, um, dark paths that could lead to, that felt like they were going to lead to death. But God was always with you. See, he was always there to comfort you, even though you still felt alone, but you made it. You still here. So just keep on going and you stick with who stuck by you. You be loyal to who was loyal to you. If it wasn't for the angels that were given charge over many of us, we'd already be dead and gone. But thank God for his grace, for his mercy. And even when we made mistakes and we did wrong, thank God for forgiving us for our sins. And as we're going to surely live in this earth, we're going to continue to do wrong sometime as we live. You know, you don't never know. That's why we got to repent, have a repentant heart. We're going to mess up in this life. But we thank God for his grace and mercy, right? And we keep a heart of forgiveness. We forgive those that trespass against us. And just because we forgive somebody, that don't mean you got to be in their company, right? Especially when the spirit is not aligning. You've seen that that spirit is fighting against you. But anyway, that's just my little two cents. Keep on having a blessed day. You making it. You winning. Even if it didn't feel like you was making it, you was winning. God is with you. He ain't never going to leave us nor forsake us. You just got to keep on going and never give up. Nobody said it would be easy. And if it was easy, then everybody would be on that same path. But so guess what? Everybody ain't on that same path because some people don't have that strength, that resilience, that get back up, that fire on the inside of them, that drive, that spirit of a warrior. But you got it. So just keep on going. You all right. You winning. You ain't losing. You ain't never going to lose as long as you stick with God. He's with you and he always going to be with you. Have a blessed day. If nobody told you that they love you, then you already know your little country bunking sister loves you.